I get asked the question a lot, do I need a deep sump for my air-cooled Volkswagen to keep it cooler? Well, no, you actually don't. These are not designed to give you extra cooling. Yes, they're gonna have extra oil capacity. Yes, they will sit down lower on the engine and be in the airflow, but the advantages to cooling are absolutely minimal, maybe a degree or two if you're lucky, doing 70 miles an hour. The reality is these are actually designed for a very different purpose. means that the heavy duty components like crankshaft, camshaft will be sitting basically in a puddle of oil whilst they're operating. That's fantastic for lubrication, fantastic for cooling, but it's not good for performance um, because it has to push through this heavy engine oil and it basically causes friction. So these deep sumps, when they sit underneath the engine, they are designed for the oil that is two and a half litres that comes up to about this level in your sump to be lowered. So by having one of these, you're really what you're meant to be doing if you're using it properly is taking some of that oil and lowering it down to a different point. You will have a pickup tube that is a bit extended so it can still get the oil it needs, but the oil will rest much, much lower. So on this, for example, it's a one and a half litre deep sump. So you will actually drop your overall level down by that much. Now on my bus, what I do is I run a one and a half litre deep sump because I have a 2110 tuned engine and I want to be able to rev it and make the most out of it. And there's two reasons I use a deep sump. One, it's quite a heavy breather. So it has a lot of oil pressure in there. I want to get rid of that oil pressure or that overpressure. One of the ways you can do that is by lowering the oil level, almost like having less oil in it, and that reduces the oil pressure. And a lot of the parts that are whizzing around like the crankshaft and camshaft are no longer sitting in a vat of oil. They're still getting the lubrication because it's being pumped around, but they're freer to move. So I gain horsepower. So when I run, a one and a half litre deep sump, I actually run to my lowest mark on my dipstick. And as long as it stays there, I have no issues. And I have no issues breathing. Um, I have no issues with uh, oil leaks uh, and I have no issues with cooling. So if you're considering a deep sump like this and you have a performance engine, by all means, pop it in, get some decent quality oil, but you're doing it to reduce the oil level on your dipstick um, and not to reduce the amount of oil, but to reduce the oil level on the dipstick uh, and enable your engine to breathe better, to not overpressurize, and also so that you can gain that little bit of extra performance. And that's what the guys at drag racing do. If you have a look on some of the old school drag racers, they've got massive sumps that go right down to the floor because there's no actual oil at the top end. So one of these deep sumps, if you want to go for it, brilliant, but don't expect any extra cooling. It's not what they're designed for. And quite often they leak, quite often they're sat down and you've got a lowered vehicle, they're gonna come off when you hit something. So got a performance engine, go for it. Just lower that oil level. If you haven't got a performance engine, you, you don't need one of these. Um. 